So how did this happen? Oh, it's fire! It dude it launched a rod out of it! Find out on this episode of Wheel of Death. In this video, we'll show you what happens when you run your motor without oil. And not just idling around. We parked this baby at 5,000 RPM at wide open throttle. First, we installed our small block Chevy from the junkyard up on the dyno. We got that baby running, then I went out, took the drain plug out of the oil pan. We parked that baby at 5,000 RPM at wide open throttle, let all the oil drain out. So what do you think? How long does it last? So what exactly is Wheel of Death? Well, the Wheel of Death was an exciting way for us to choose what happens to these motors. I mean, one example was draining the oil, but there were others. A mechanic's worst nightmare is to have something drop down the carburetor especially while the motor's running. Well, first up, we tried BBs, but you know what? We went one step further. We actually set up targets behind the headers. That's right, if you drop a BB down the carburetor while the motor's running, some of them will go all the way through, shoot out the header, and hit the target. So what do you think? Did we get any bullseyes? Now the BBs were actually soft. They would compress between the head and the piston, at least some of them. But what happens if you drop something a little stronger, like a hard nut or bolt? Let me tell you, that's catastrophic. We've all heard the term hydrolock. That's where you ingest water in the motor. Your piston comes up and tries to compress that water. Unfortunately, water won't compress, so something else has to give. These are all examples of tests we ran for Wheel of Death. But right now, let's take a look at this episode where we run your motor without oil. Okay guys, before we start Wheel of Death, make sure to stick around after the credits for the outtakes. Check out how excited Chad Reynolds, Steve Brule, and I get after we blow this thing up. Hey guys, welcome to Wheel of Death. And you know what, your first question has to be, what in the hell is Wheel of Death? We are all about destruction, but destruction in the name of science. How did Wheel of Death get its name? Well, this may look like a comp cams degree wheel, but the truth of the matter is it's the Wheel of Death. It spins, it shoots fire, sparks, smoke, all the good stuff, and it has four distinct sections, and each section represents an opportunity to learn. That's right, and with learning comes mistakes. But we're going to make the mistakes so you don't have to. Now that we're all on the same page, let's give this baby a spin. You know, anything with fireworks, I'm all in. But it's there for a reason and it landed in section one, which means our lesson for the day was something we call drain the vein. We all know oil is the lifeblood of any motor, but what happens if you run your motor without oil? How is that possible? Well, what happens if you lose your oil pump, the drive shaft, or heck, what if the drain plug comes out? That's a common occurrence. So we're gonna find out what happens when you run your motor without oil. Before we do that, we need to take a look at our test motor. We went down to the LKQ pick apart right down the street and picked up this 350 cubic inch small block Chevrolet. Now this particular unit originally came fuel injected. We had to make a few changes before we ran it on the dyno. Yeah, we put some comp cams valve springs in it so we could get it to rev. We put a Speedmaster intake on it, a Holly XP four barrel and an MSD distributor. Now before we kill this baby, we've got to make sure it's alive. Let's put it on the dyno and rev it up. Have you ever had a guy come out here and Purposely want to blow up a motor? I've had guys come out and probably knew that it was going to blow up. Oh, that's good. But that's but, good. but but not really intentionally bring one to blow up. And <laughs> all right, let's start this baby up. See what it makes. Want right, to be happy? Yeah. Want to be oh. a player? Fired right up. I saw. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna call that a nice little 300 horsepower small block. We 
Which is about all that you can expect from a Chevy anyway, right? Dude, the bad part about this is now I actually almost feel bad because think about how many guys would really be happy with a 300 horse small block. Dude, 374 foot pounds. Look, all that I know is we know it's alive, so now we gotta kill it. Wide open 4,800 and watch the oil go away. Starting up, I'll go in and pull the plug. <laughs> this is so bad, it's awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna rub more ha hair off the top of your forehead. It's already gone. <laughs> Oil is draining. <laughs> okay, door is closed. Get it. Fan is on. It's wide open. It's wide open. Chad, man, how awesome was that? I could not believe how spectacular that was. It was way more exciting than I thought that it was going to be. That was the best ending we could have hoped for. We couldn't have scripted something that good. No, I thought that this thing was going to go whir, 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 and just seize up. Me too. I never expected it to launch two rods out of the thing. No, there was fire, there was smoke, there was chaos, there was rods exiting stage left. I mean, that was fantastic. It was the best we possibly could have hoped for, and I am so excited. I squealed like a little girl. We learned so much, and it just goes to show you how how important oil is to the motor. But you know what? Stick around because we're not done, right? No, we have even more interesting and extreme ways that we're going to learn here on Wheel of Death. Shook. 
I heard Shudder. Yeah. yeah. As oh, soon as it yeah, shook, yeah. I went. And then I watched it go. I'm so happy. Oh the my didn't catch God. Fire. Well, yeah, I figured the fan off was so <laughs> it kept blowing the head around. Oh, oh man. Wow. That was Dude, awesome. I am so excited right now because <laughs> that is so much better than I expected oh, this one to be. God, that was I awesome. thought this one would be like our least I thought exciting. it would just seize up and stop. Yes. Yeah, you know what bothers me the most? What? That was I'm a good so, motor to I, begin I'm with? I'm supposed to be completely disgusted with all of this. Yeah. And it was it awesome. Was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, god, dude, that was We great. had and it was fire like and furnace, we got parts coming out. It made more power with less oil. You know, that's yeah. vintage, so that's, yeah. that's the way it wow. goes. Wow. It was weird because it, it hung on to a lot of oil pressure. I couldn't believe it. It still had 39 pounds. That's yes. it. Look at soil protection. I was talking about it. I was going to go for five million minutes because there's still some pressure. Oh, that was epic. 